this is my first live crafting event with you. What other, is it? Other than um, Black, Black Friday. Friday. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So yay! Like, I'm so I didn't excited. know that. Yeah. <laughs> now you know I was a little bit nervous. I am a little bit nervous. I'm going to try to push through it, though. Uh, well, I am going to push through it. There's no trying. It's going to happen. You got this, Becca. <laughs> it's going to be great. It is. So, guys, um, are you recovering after the holidays? You're Christmasing? And recovering. I love recovering. that word. Well, although, I mean, I had a really good Christmas holiday. Like, I don't feel like there's much recovery. I, well, I was off a week here, which was a little bit weird, but I got to spend a lot of time with uh, my babies. We got to play with all their toys, and that was fun. Um, but, yeah. So hopefully you're not really having to recover. You're just enjoying the aftermath of Christmas. Anyway, today we're going to make this super cute wreath. Um, I think, did we talk about like Christmas wreath? Uh, this, I think it's just like an easy beginner wreath. The best cricket wreath for beginners. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway, you could totally use this for Christmas. Um, I think it's super cute and wintry and I'm excited. I'm actually going to take the one that I'm making today and put it on my winter door at home. So hey, there yeah. you go. super fun. So we're going to be making that today. Um, I can't wait to dive in with you guys and do that. I do want to tell you really quick. Um, well, actually, how many of you guys got a new maker, uh, explorer, maker, whatever, Cricut for Christmas? Oh, yes. Let us know. Yeah. I'm interested to know that and want to know if you've opened the box, what projects you've done. Um, if you are new to it and feeling a little unsure about um, how to do it, if you feel overwhelmed, um, guys, we would love to have you join our membership. Um our, our yearly membership specifically because it just has lots of wonderful tools for you guys. Um, but we want to kind of be that the sounding board for you guys and, and help you really dive in, um, empower you, help you feel like you um, have some good tools to utilize um, to get started. Um, one of my favorite things from our membership is this amazing guide. Guys, uh, my sister-in-law, who's one of my best friends, got a maker for Christmas. And I actually gifted her a membership for Christmas as well. And oh, my god! Yeah, yeah. I'm a good sister-in-law. <laughs> you are a good sister-in-law. Anyway, um, this was like the first thing. I was like, I, you can ask me all the questions you want, but I'm going to tell you right now, this printable guide is something that you need to download right now. Put it on your phone, print it out, have it everywhere. It's amazing. Um, it will really help you guys with all the terminology, um, what knife blade or rotary blade or whatever blade to use with um, the material that you're cutting with. Um, it just breaks down the terminology because when I first started with my um, Cricut, that, that was what was really confusing to me. I have a tendency to make up words for things. Um, so transitioning over to actual terminology um, that Cricut uses was a little bit challenging. In fact, sometimes I still mess up, but this guide really helps with that too. Um, so it's a really good source. Um, I know, Rachel, is it through Friday we're running our special? It is. Mm -hmm. Yes, on the third it goes away. Yep, yeah, so you get $40 off the year membership using code BEST, B-E-S-T. Um, so take advantage of that. Like I said, we really would love to have you guys uh, join and really just help you, help you get crafty, help, um, help inspire you. You guys inspire us as well. Um, so yeah, join us. That'll be really great. Um, and Becca, a lot of people are commenting and saying that they've got makers and things like that. And yeah. Miss Just Rose 25 said, I got a maker, but I'm scared to open the box. I know. It is a little bit scary. Is it not? It is. But you don't have to be scared. Um, I keep, I keep moving this around. I'm going to set it down before I knock it down. Yeah, I think that seems to be um, a common thing with with most people is the, the scariest step is just opening the box. It's true. It's yeah. true. It definitely can be, you mm -hmm. know, because, I mean, it's it's a big investment. And to crack that sucker open, all the unknown, I mean, it's, it's super scary. We totally understand that. Yeah, my yeah. sister-in-law who, who got her cricket for Christmas brought it over Christmas Eve at my parents' house where we were celebrating and we just set it out on the table and made a cute little project really quick just because like she did all of it and it was her idea and all of that stuff uh, but just me sitting next to her saying you can do this yeah. so it's really not um 
it, it, yeah, it's really it's really not that hard. Just coming up with the idea, I think, is the hardest part. Yeah, really. Actually, sometimes. executing it is is yeah. pretty easy. Something I used to get super tripped up on was when I was making things, pairing colors together. Mm -hmm. Like of the HTVs or the vinyls, I would get super tripped up on that. I would really second guess myself. So I totally understand why there is, you know, some some fear with that because there's a whole lot of unknown, a whole lot of room to fail, you right. know, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we, we really want to try and minimize all that for you guys to make sure that you guys aren't, aren't scared or have the great tips to know that if you do fail, it's okay. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. We fail all the time, actually. We should we make do. a blooper reel of all of our fails. Oh, I think it would make to. you guys feel really good about yourselves. Becca, that's a great idea. Yeah. We have them <laughs> weekly. Oh, we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect. So do we want to go ahead and dive into uh, design space for our wreath that we're doing? I think so. I, I think, think the should. only we question we have is uh, Miss Sherry got an explorer instead of a maker, and she mm -hmm. says, what is a maker? So a maker is just, uh, I guess it's the newer version of explorer. Um, it does a little bit different. Um, you can cut a few different materials with a maker um, than, that you, than you can with the Explorer. I know you can do, um, you have the rotary blade uh, for felt and things like that for thicker felts. Um, and also the knife blade, Rachel, right? Yep, That's the knife blade, absolutely. Yeah, it's got cuts. the adaptive tool system mm -hmm. in it. So it'll cut what your Explorer 2 cuts, except more than that. So you can mm -hmm. switch out those blades in that adaptive tool system. It's got 10 times the cutting pressure, but if you know if all you make is t-shirts and decals for cars you don't need to make her unless you feel like you're going to be cutting a lot of fabric and a lot of wood and things like that so don't feel like you're um less that you know less of a crafter because you just have the explore air that is totally not the case yeah for sure even like the explorer will cut felt it just does thinner felt like the cricket felt um so yeah. Honestly, I have friends who asked which ones to get, and you know, I said, "Well, what are you wanting to make?" And nothing was listed with like a thick leather or or wood or something like that. So I was like, "Absolutely, go for the Explorer. It's it's a quite a bit cheaper." Um, so why not? For sure. Are there any other questions? I don't think so. I think we're good to go in design space if you're good to go. Sarah said, I got my husband to open the box for me. See, Sarah, he did the hard part for yeah, you. He did it. That's a good thing. Make your spouses just. Just open up the box. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> Sarah said, Becca, please go slowly. You know what, Sarah? I am a fast talker and I'm constantly having to rhyme myself to go slowly. So I think I'm glad you about said the that. Teaching too, I know. Because we yes. definitely mm -hmm. need to. Yeah, because there are For so sure. many newbies, Becca. Mm -hmm. We're not, I'm not used to, you know, a lot of newbies here. It's such a great, refreshing thing to know. There's so many people wanting to know everything there is to know about the crickets For so sure. we all will have to remind each other to slow down and to make sure we're getting down to the nitty-gritty you know like the little things in design space yeah. that newbies might not know this is actually a really good project for beginners i think because it, there's not a lot of design space um like like changing things, tweaking things in design space um it's pretty straightforward um and then um this is heat transfer vinyl instead of regular vinyl, so I personally feel like that's easier to deal with. Um, so I think honestly, this is this is a really good uh, beginner project. All of this is hot glue. You can do that. Fantastic. Um, but Becca, yeah. Anna Meyer said, "Sister, Anna Myers, you should be working. You should be working." <laughs> you I bet my husband is also. Anna. My husband Wayne is probably also watching. He's, <laughs> I'll go home and he's like, so Rachel, blah, 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 blah today. And I'm like, what, how do you know that? He watches what, every one of them. Us, he is the least crafty person in the entire world, but I kind of want him to do a project just like based off of things that he's learned watching these. No, that would be hysterical. I, I think it would be too. I that think it would be just, great. Just to bring him on and see what he knows and what he doesn't. Yeah. Just not even crafting, just from watching. Yeah. I think that'd be super fun. <laughs> and Becca also, Miss Tracy is wanting to know how much the membership is. So when we switch cameras, you're, you know, feel free to show them all that too. Cause we got people wanting to know. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to switch you over. Switch me over. I'm going to switch you over. And actually, Rachel, I don't know if you want to go ahead and take charge of that with the the site because I haven't looked on it, to be honest, and I'm not really familiar with sure. where, sure. I'm sorry, guys. She's going to no. show you no, uh, just the pricing and stuff. No, we're good. So we have our membership here, and this is our flagship <clears throat> product. We love our membership, of course. It's what we preach to you guys all the time because we can make you 
so much better in your crafting endeavors, especially uh, if you are a newbie. So this is perfect for uh, beginners as well. So it does say it ends, it is ended at zero, zero, but it is not guys. We have extended it just for you guys. So you guys get so much with this. You get over 1500 cut files, you get over 250 fonts, uh, free commercial licensing, and that is only with their yearly member though, guys. So you need to make sure you get the yearly membership. Uh, I think honestly like 98% of the memberships that we sell are yearly memberships because you are also getting the best bang for your buck. And now when it's $40 off using that code best, you get an even better deal. So if we scroll on down here, I love this little um, visual thing here. Gotta go past all this good stuff. And you see here, so our monthly membership is $19.99. Our six month membership is $17.99 a month. And our yearly membership is $15.99 a month, but that is before the sale guys. So you get to knock an extra $40 off of that total. And if you already have a membership, a yearly membership, and you want to take advantage of the sale, you can go up here to this cool little button here and click already existing member and it will lock you in for another year of this awesome craftiness. So whether you're a newbie, whether you feel like you, you know, you've had maybe cricket access for a long time, it is definitely worth uh, jumping in, diving into. We have so many awesome uh, th perks with our yearly membership. And so I guess the best one I would say for our um, newbies is the three free uh, e-courses that you do get. And that teaches you how to master your Cricut, how to master design space. And then there's one whenever you get your toes wet and you really, really want to start getting in there, you can build a business through your die cutting machine. And that is, of course, an e-course. We tell you exactly how to do that. And that pairs really well with that free commercial license, which means you can m sell the crafts that you make using our cut files or fonts. Yeah, just to interject with that building business, yeah. um, I, it's actually a fantastic tool. I see a lot of times people will post and ask what they should charge for specific things. Yeah. And Tanner really breaks that down and helps you guys decide that, um, how, how to evaluate what it's worth and what your time is worth and all of that. So yeah, I, it's, it's a really great it's tool. It's tricky. All that stuff <clears> is tricky when you're talking about building a business and stuff that can get that can get really tricky and really confusing just about as scary as opening your box guys you know so it's definitely good to have those e-courses to be able to jumpstart you and give you guys the knowledge to be confident when you're crafting and not be so scared about it and every member gets our career printable guide that miss becca was raving about which is amazing it's my favorite but there's i mean there's just so much goodness about the membership definitely grab it if you haven't already and i will drop the link to um to the uh, link for if you guys are already existing members and you just want to go ahead and get that, you can totally do that. And great uh, question. You do have to pay the full amount if you are a yearly member. That is why we do give you guys all the deals and steals of the fonts that are only for yearly members, the three free e-courses, you know, and the free commercial license. That is only for yearly because we award you guys for investing in us for an entire year. So you do have to pay that yearly all in one lump sum. But you do pay the least amount for it, so right, right. that's definitely good. Yeah. All right, so if you guys don't have any other questions about that, we will jump over into design space. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. Go crazy, Becca. All right. It's all yours. Yay! Okay, so this is the design that we're going to do um, on our the little canvas piece on our um, door hanger. And there was a question Anna wants me to point out. Someone had asked about an alternative um, hanging mechanism for, for the door. Um, instead of like the over the door hanger, you could use a command hook yep. um, or a command strip or something like that. That's what I like to use a lot because it removes pretty, pretty easily as well. Okay, so um, this is actually a cut file and one of our fonts that we have put together. And guys, I love to do stuff like this and kind of just design my own um, things. This was Courtney who did this. She did a fantastic job putting it together. I love it. Um, this is our Mammal font that was just released, I think, last week. Oh, yeah, she knew. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. Also, um, Extra Guac, I just want to point that one out is amazing if you, guys haven't seen, if you haven't seen the new font releases please go look at them um you guys are gonna love them so this is uh this little fun doodad up here is one of the accents um i don't I, that was a newer release as well i believe it was uh -huh. yeah okay. i think one of the maker's choice collections we had a lot of those and in there. there are several of them there are um, tons to choose from yeah so you guys are gonna go nuts with those it'll be fun i'm gonna hide these and just show you guys how um 
how we put that together. If you're a newbie, this is a fantastic learning experience for you. Um, so you go over here to upload images like we did. This is the accent. We'll press insert image. And you see that it comes up um, with three actual accents and we don't want to use this bottom one. So I'm going to go up here and hide it. It's actually in two, um, two different little layers there. So I'm going to hide both of those. Um, and now I, I'm just left with this one. Um, our canvas is six inches tall. Um, I did pre-measure that six inches tall and 18 inches wide. Um, so I want to size this according um, to that measurement. So I'm going to go over here and take off in this bottom left corner. You see the lock. Um, I'm going to unclick that so that the lock ratio is undone. And then I can go up to the top. I could drag it um, and kind of make it whatever size I want like that. Or if I kind of know exactly what measurements I want, then I can go in um, and just manually do that. So that's what I want to do. And Glenda said today is her anniversary for becoming a member a year ago. Yay! Happy, happy day! Glenda. And it's been the best year of your life too, right, Glenda? I bet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so I have that sized um, how I want it, and Court had it just rotated a little bit. So we're going to do that. I think it, it looks really cute. That's cute. Um, so I just did that by going up here in the right-hand corner where this little twirly arrow thing is, and you can manually rotate it, or you can go up top uh, to this menu and rotate it um, however many degrees you want. Oh, that sounds really hard. Right? I'm just going to take I'm such a visual person. Thing. Yeah, like the only time that I use that up top is if I know that I want it like at a 45 or 90 degree angle, something very precise. Oh gosh, you do it too when you rotate text. That's when true. When you curve text, mm -hmm. you use that a lot too. Yeah. And it, it blows my mind how Becca does, does that so precisely. <laughs> it's math. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to insert that text that said hello. Um, so I went over to the left, press text, I typed in my text that I wanted, and then I'll go up here at the top uh, where it says font, and I will type in the font that I want. Mammal is right there. And you can see um, that when it's inserted, again, I'm kind of just going over this for all the newbies. You may not know this. If you do already know this, then just bear with us. Yeah, just um, listen. It's newbie season, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to definitely be getting, you know, getting down to the basics on a lot of these, which is a great refresher for us all. You mm -hmm. know? Absolutely. Sure. Okay, so um, you can see that these are separated and with a script font like this, I don't, I don't want it to be separated. Um, so I can do that a couple of different ways. I can go in and just do my letter spacing for starters. Uh, change the letter spacing so that they're really close to, together like that. Um, another way to do that is to make sure that the entire word is selected and then go up here um, to this panel and press ungroup. And when I do that, I don't think it worked. Let me go back and do it. Why is it not working? There we go. Yay. Um, when I do that, you can move each individual of these letters, um, which is pretty neat. You can make them closer together if you want, or you, you know, just really design it however you want. Um, I want to move this L up a little bit because I think it's cute. It looks more handwritten uh, when things are a little bit offset like this. Um, so I've moved it how I want it. Just because I'm closer, I'm yeah. not critiquing you. Squeeze that H into that E just a hair. Over to the right. Here, yeah. yeah. Over here, I'm seeing a hair of a gap there. Is that better? That's perfect. Yeah. You probably can't see it. We have this very far it's from true. the screen. We have this massive screen, <laughs> and I don't wear my contacts because they draw my eyes out. Um, so I really can't see it. I'm glad you said that. Well, yeah. I'm always that here to much help. better. Don't Thank you, you wish everybody could craft in pairs? Just yeah, <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have the placement of the letters that I want, I'm going to select all of them again, um, go back and hit group again so that when um, I move them, they'll all move together instead of individually. Um, so now I can size this by dragging it um, or I can, once again, up at the top, um, 
size it to whatever I want. I For whatever reason, tend to prefer doing it that way. I don't know why. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put it in the middle like that. Then what I'm going to do, I want to show you. At this point, if I were to hit make it, it is going to kind of just throw my designs on, first of all, two separate mats. Becca, but that's beautiful. That's uh -huh. what you wanted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make my hello all wonky. Ooh. Like, what does that even say? Leheo. Leheo. <laughs> that sounds pretty. Anyway, and I don't want that. So I'm going to hit cancel. And the reason that it did that is because I did not weld this together. Um, when I weld it together, it makes it all one layer instead of all of these separate ones. So it will cut it together. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to select all of them. Again, I can do that over here to the right by manually um, selecting each layer. Or I can just drag like I did yep. um, and select all of them at the same time. And guys, keep an eye on that layers panel when Becca does this. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I'm not sure what I've just done. <laughs> hey, that's okay. It's all right. There we go. Okay, so it is all selected again, and then I'm going to go down to this bottom right of the layers panel and press weld. Boom. So now it is all put together, and you can see up here at the top in the layers um, panel, it has one layer with my little <laughs> accents and the font and everything, which yes. is exactly what I want. And to end, Becca, for all the newbies wanting to know why is it so crucial to weld a cursive font? Yeah, so be, for where I showed you guys um, with the make it, when I hit make it and it just went everywhere, um, first of all, trying to piece that together would be murder. That would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you want it, you, you want it to cut out in one piece. Like, this is going to cut out in one piece mm -hmm. all five letters. And if I did it um, without welding it, then it would cut it all out separately. Yeah. And a lot of people are wondering also about the attach. If mm -hmm. you attach those and you went and wanted to cut those on the mat, when you click make it, it will actually look like it's going to cut. And you're like, okay, this looks great if mm -hmm. you were to attach it. But then when it cuts, the Cricut would actually cut it how you have it there, but it would cut the letters individually. The only way to get a cursive font to cut is one word is to weld it like Becca did. So that's definitely something, oh, we just got that, why weld not attached? So we're de definitely answering these questions for all of our newbies. And guys, ask all the questions you want. This is a great, uh, this whole season, through like January through March is a great time to ask any and all beginner questions. We are here for all of those beginners. But definitely use weld when using any cursive text because, you know, you got to have that cutting as one. You don't want them cutting as separate letters or anything like that. For sure. That's frustrating. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to hit make it because I'm finished with my design. I have it welded together. Uh, you can see it is putting it on one mat. Um, we are using heat transfer vinyl on this project because it's going to be on canvas. You definitely could use regular vinyl on it. It's It will peel up though. Um, so maybe I guess if you wanted to use it for like a, a month or two, mm -hmm. maybe max. Yeah, and like kind of reuse, reuse it. it. Yeah. 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 Um, so because we're using heat transfer vinyl, if you are new to this, um, it cuts it backward um, than regular vinyl. So I'm going to go over here to this left panel and hit mirror. And if that was confusing, listen, that's just yeah. cricket beginner talk. Mm -hmm. It's the reason why HTV is a little more expensive is because it actually has its own <clears throat> built-in transferred paper with it. So that's why you're going to pay a little more with, mm -hmm. more for it. That's why you have to put it shiny side down on your mat. And that's why you have to mirror it. Because once you weed it and peel it up, it's already got that attached unlike uh, adhesive vinyl. So that is another great little tip that Becca gave. Right, guys. And one reason, I mean, I use HTV on as many projects as I can. I'm constantly Amen. like, hey, Rachel, can I use this on yeah. this? <laughs> uh, because I, I, it's so much easier to weed from one, in my it opinion. Is. I I actually really like weeding HTV. Um, it's therapeutic. It is. I actually said in a course that, that we um, filmed the other day, when I was a kid, I took Elmer's glue and put it on my hands and would let it dry and then peel it off. And it has the same therapeutic effect, in my opinion, as an adult. Just peeling that off. It's so wonderful. Anyway, um, I do have it mirrored. So now I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to connect to my machine. Guys, if you use a computer 
in Design Space, do you connect with your USB um, or do you do Bluetooth connection? I'm just curious. I've always done Bluetooth and- I'm here, a USB guy. Yeah, here recently I've started USB and like I really love not having to connect every cut and I love, it's quicker I think. Don't you think it's quicker? Oh, I think it's quick because it doesn't, you're not having to wait or anything like that. And it's just connect. You don't have to, like it's, I'm all about removing any variables that could, you know, get in the way of finishing your project. And if plugging her in will remove a variable, honey, I'll plug yeah, her in all day. Absolutely. It's just what I do. Okay, so I selected Everyday Iron on as my material. Um, we do have a fresh blade in here, so I'm just going to leave it at default pressure. Um, I'm loading my HTV onto my standard grip mat and into the maker here. I'm going to switch back to you, Becky. Perfect. And it is ready to cut. Awesome. And this won't take very long. No. Uh -uh. So I did not do fast mode. I'm not a big fast mode fan. Yeah, we've had this conversation. Um, Rachel, when do you like to use fast mode? Very seldom. I will use fast mode if I'm cutting out something large. Um, and I mean large as in like the actual font or the text is large, not like a giant project with lots of little details. Cause you know, and for all the newbies that could be watching, uh, fast mode, it, it is, Cricut I think design fast mode, you know, for projects depending, but I use it seldom. I don't mm -hmm. love to use it. Tanner uses it a lot more often than I do. Uh, what it does is it just kind of kicks the Cricut into high gear. It gets louder, it gets faster. It's yeah. not like it cuts deeper or anything. You can do more pressure or less pressure. I don't even um, love doing it on cardstock. Like even if I were doing just like a big yeah. square or circle or whatever, I feel like it kind of tears. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's I, just I mean, my experience. I feel like Cricut wouldn't have allowed the machine to be able to do that unless it felt like it could do it well. Obviously there's sense. a benefit somewhere. Yeah, I mean yeah. there's a benefit. Mm -hmm. So I mean I, I use it sometimes, like I said, very seldomly. Yeah. If you're in a rush or you're doing um a, I don't know, bigger projects. I know Jenny. I know Jenny's like, oh Rachel in fast mode. I it's a constant like debate around here, so I like to have this it like is. Yeah. Tana yeah. loves fast mode. I hate it. I feel like it ru it ruins projects because you don't want them ruined. Like, I feel like you use FASMO when you're in a hurry and you're trying to get things done. But yeah. then sometimes FASMO can ruin the project and you have to cut it twice. So then like, really, did you save any time? No, you didn't. Look at that, guys. We're done cutting already. Um, I am gonna go ahead and take my precision knife because we do have some extra um, HTV on here. If you guys don't have one of these, I, it's like an X-Acto knife. I don't, but it's amazing. Yeah. Use something. And I'm going to switch to the overhead cam for you, Becca. Oh, perfect. So they can see what you're doing. Let me uh And Judy, zoom out that a is bit. not a silly question. There are no silly questions, Judy. She says, "Do I have to buy the large mat in order to make large signs?" Well, we do have a lot of larger than mat projects um, that we have been able to teach you guys, but if you're wanting to make anything I guess easily because you can definitely create things larger than 12 by 12 or even 12 by 24 uh, depending on how you can cut those on your uh, design space but you do not have to get that large mat if you don't want to but I will advise you there are several things that we love using that large mat on so we do maybe it's something you don't have to worry about getting right now you know maybe once you get the hang of it wouldn't you say so Becca? well yeah and I would say honestly like if you guys are at a point where you just need to go ahead and replace your mats, then by all means, go ahead and replace them with the 12 by 24, just because clearly you can make little projects on the, the big mats as well. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm not sure that you would necessarily, I, I don't think it's a must. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, um, what is it? Like a Teflon sheet or the brat mm -hmm. pad. It's not a must. You do not have to have it to be a good cricket crafter, but sometimes they're helpful. Oh, oh, Becca, you're getting lots of comments. A uh, great compliments on your nails. Guys, I just got my nails done on Saturday. I love to have my nails done, but I never have time to get them done. And Anna and Tanner made me feel very pressured <gasps> to get them Becca, done. Well, I would never have made. You feel I know pressured. you make me feel okay about them. Listen. My nails are normally horrible. Thank you for the compliment. They're awesome, crafty people. They're listen. They don't. 
I mean, of course they'll compliment you on something like that. But yeah. they would never be like, Rachel, your nails look terrible. Go get a manicure. Well, but, <clears throat> it's so funny. My son, who is six, calls my fingernails toenails, first of all. Wait, oh, that's hysterical. It's, yeah, he is. But he, yesterday in church, he was sitting in my lap. And uh, he said, Mama, can I pet your toenails? They are so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I know. So can he's I like, pet your them. toenails. He's so funny. So, guys, this is already weeded. Like, it was that quick. It was super easy. You made that look so easy, Becca. Well, it was easy. If it hadn't been easy, then. Anyway, so we've got that. You can see that's the sticky part. Mm -hmm. um, so, for, for new people, um... Regular vinyl would cut out like this with yep. the, the backing right here. So, um, and then you would put the transfer tape on it. HTV doesn't need that. It comes with its own amazing transfer tape and it's sticky this way. Okay, so we're finished with that. Um, I did go ahead and heat up my mini Easy Press. I love this thing. How many of you guys got these for Christmas? Oh, they're so cool. They I was are. hating on it, Becca. I was hating on that baby teeny tiny Easy Press. I was like, that can't do nothing for me. Let me tell you, I grab it every day. I know. I thought, why in the world do I need this yes, thing? Yes. And I, I love that little fella. And then I think I worked here two days and I was like, oh, wait. I've, I've wait. got <laughs> to have that. I've got to have me a little Easy Press. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to put our HTV on this canvas. This uh, came in a 12 by 12. Uh, no, it wasn't 12 by 12. It was 12 inches this way. I'm actually not sure how long this is. I will measure it for you. And we were getting some questions about where we got materials and things like that. Okay. So it, yeah. as you know, just <clears throat> shout them out where you got them from. So this originally, it's 23 inches um, long, and then it was 12 inches tall. And I just used a rotary cutter um, to cut it right in half because I knew I wanted it six inches. Um, so I've used one piece for both. This came from Michael's. It just came up rolled already like this. So it didn't have to be cut or anything. It was already these, this size. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just place this kind of in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle because um, I can move it once I get it on the embroidery hoop um, to kind of even it out a little bit more. But we want it as even as possible. And Miss Patty, what is the best iPad to use? Any newer iPad will mm -hmm. work just fine. We have the sixth generation. It's not the gigantic one. It's just the, the regular sixth generation. I just think it's like a 9.4 inch display. I don't know. But really anything like that is totally fine. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously if you can get the bigger ones, I would suggest that just because it's easier to design and see all of that. Don't forget your uh, Easy Press Mac. Oh, there, thank Rachel. you. I did forget that, Rachel. Anytime. It's easy to forget stuff when you are live. When it you is. Are I did put it out here, so that you was did. the first step. Yeah. You knew. You knew you were going to need it. Thank you. I, want, I wonder how bad it would have warped this table. Hey, Maybe you, not because this backing is pretty thick. It's just more work for Joe to be able to do. Job it's security true. for Joe. You would have been doing it for him. I was just, I was just thinking of Joe, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> so... We're gonna put this on, guys. This is so amazing. It's weird to me to think that, like, with an easy press, like a normal easy press, how many seconds would you leave this on normally? Like 30. 30? Yeah. Okay. 30 seconds. And I feel like you don't have to leave it on that, no, that long and with. I love the little one too. This because one. he's double ceramic coated, which is why <clears throat> Becca is so easily sliding him around. And then also, there's only three heat settings uh, 300, 350, and 400. And what Cricut has done so smartly, they know you're not going to heat this. You're not going to like heat it every inch of it for 30 seconds. So it has already ha went ahead and made it hotter than regular so that it will even out to be the same amount as if you were to leave 30 seconds on every inch of this little fella. So they really did think of everything with They this. did. I'm and seeing some comments about people going to buy these. Have you guys, are they on sale right now? I on, thought they were like $49 somewhere. Yeah, they're normally, I think, $69.99. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not finding it for $69.99, do not buy it because you can get them for $49. Like yeah. that Hobby Lobby. I think Cricket's website actually had them for $49. Really? I think wow. so. Wow. Um, they're worth it. Yeah. For and sure. Becca, Bridget says, do you need to have an easy press? You can use an iron for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think. Actually, the first shirt that I did with HTV, I did with an iron because I literally made it the day that I, that I opened my 
uh, maker. You were excited. And it did actually all right. I feel like I hated having to try to figure out where I had already done it, like in the overlap and all of that. Um, and so having a bigger one was really nice. I think we're actually done. Yeah. You guys can see. I don't know if you can see little it there or bubbles. not. But it has little bubbles in yep. there. And when you start to see those bubbles, you can pretty much guess that it is finished. Bubbles are a great sign. I'm going to slowly peel this up just in case I haven't hit all of the spots. And then I can go back and hit them. But we have a great video oh, on oh. how to use HPV with a household iron. That's mm -hmm. really fun. I think it's the same debate as if you need the 12 by 24 easy press mat or anything. You can crick it without it. But let's just say if you're making a ton of shirts or a ton of hats or something like that, invest in an easy press. Yeah. You'll definitely not regret it. And Jacqueline, we're going to try and do a little bit better about uh, posting our live shows on here beforehand a couple of days in advance. So if you do go on the Makers Gonna Learn um, page right now on YouTube, it should be there. We should have a couple, I think like three or four, including this one, uh, already ready to go there. They are usually at 1.30 p.m. Eastern um, every weekday. So you'll see me, Becca, Tanner, the gang here. So yeah. <laughs> For sure. Um, I, I melted my first HTV project oh. I did with an iron wet and got an easy press right away. Yes, Megan. Uh, that would be a nightmare. Nobody We're wants so to... sorry you made yeah. it. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it sounds like something I would do for sure. Um, okay, so we are finished with this. And we're going to go ahead and put it on our um, embroidery hoop. Now, we did this. I'm going to do it a little differently. On this first one, I'll go ahead and show you again. Um, we took... Let me zoom out so you guys can see. We took um, the eucalyptus and covered where it connects. Ooh. Just to give it more of a kind of urban-y look. Yeah. I actually want to see mine. Sure. So I'm going to leave it on top. So that's up to your all's um, Great personal tip. preference. Yeah. Now, Becca, how big is that honker? This that is, is 18 inches. <clears throat> oh, it's a big Yeah, one. I didn't mean to tell you guys that. So it's 18 inches. Um, we'll go ahead and take that out and place this guys and the first time that i did this i was really concerned about getting it super even which was actually kind of funny because once you put this on it moves so don't necessarily stress yourself out about that um just kind of get it in the general place and then put it on putting that on and then i'm going to tighten it but not all the way up Okay, so I don't have it all the way tightened so that I can flip this and, and tighten it this way. So I'll pull it, and this is um, a good time to go ahead and straighten it up too. So if if my, um, yep, my <laughs> not my display, my picture is not in the center exactly where I want it, uh, then I can manipulate it this way. I may have tightened it a little too tight. It's okay. That's I like okay. that canvas is forgiving like that. It is. Just rip it. This is super thick. I was afraid that I was going to rip it to begin with. Um, and I did, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you. Well, now I'll show it in a minute. Um, I did some of these for the backs of my table chairs. So my dining room chairs. Ooh. I didn't bring my phone. I'm not going to show you. So I'll just tell you. Um, and I used homespun. I used a tartan applied homespun. Uh, with HTV and it did really well. Um, I thought it might be too thin, but it wasn't. And then um, I just used like a greenery around it and I used little eight inch ones and they fit really cute on the back of those dining room tables. So, or dining room chairs. So that's a cute option for you guys. Are you all crazy about the fact that this isn't centered? Because it's driving me crazy. It looks centered to me if that okay. helps Miss Perfectionist. Well, I think I got it now. <laughs> That makes me happier. It looks beautiful, Becca. Sure. Thank you, Rachel. It's because I'm spending 15 minutes getting it centered. That, listen, that's okay. Be okay, so now, now I'm going to um, tighten it up all the way so that it just doesn't move on me. I have a terrible habit of tightening it, tightening it until it splits. I don't know why. Oh, I've never done that. I didn't I know it was a thing. My, yeah, I split it. <laughs> I've split like probably half of the, all the ones that I've done. 
So guys, I went to Hobby Lobby to get these for um, the ones that I did at my house, and they had five of them, and I needed six. Of course, they never of had. Of course. Uh, they were like a dollar ninety-seven or something. For the Hobby eighteen Lobby. inch ones? <clears throat> no, for the eight inch. Okay. Eight inch. Yeah. No. That I was would be like, amazing. What a deal. Yeah. Um. So I went to Walmart. They were three dollars at Walmart. Wow. Three dollars. Wow. Don't go to Walmart, guys. Okay, so um, see this extra canvas right here? I can do a couple of things. I could like hot glue that down if I wanted to, but it's so tight. We could just trim it off too, which is what I am going to do. Work smarter, not harder back then. Right. And it leaves, like it cuts really well. You can see, um, let me put my hand there. The edge is really nice. It Ooh. doesn't look frayed or anything. Yeah. That's a good clean edge. I know it. So we will cut that off. That looks nice. Um, and now we are going to put our eucalyptus on it. Guys, Tanner was at a store in um, Atlanta this weekend and he got me, have you heard of Front Gate? No. Okay, I hadn't either. Let me guess, is it some kind of <laughs> fancy brand or something? I don't know, like apparently it's like a catalog type, like it, I don't know, but there's home decor and just all sorts of things. And he sent me a picture of this eucalyptus that was kind of snowy looking and it was super on sale. Um, super on sale. Super on sale. It was 75% off. Oh, that that is super yes. on sale. So I think he got me some. I'm super excited about it because I think I'm going to ride this eucalyptus train into the ground. I love eucalyptus. Um, this eucalyptus is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, we use this in the Christmas trees. We used it. Oh, well, in, we use it everywhere. On the man, or not the mantle. We did use it on the mantle. The yeah. mantle garland. Yeah. Um, the front door wreath. We've used it like crazy. And I, I really is, actually like these purpley sprigs in it too. Do so. you? I Leave do. it on yours then. I do. I'm going to. Yeah. Um, I don't like that it is. Some of them are backward, but you can twist them, like so right on the stem. So if you guys don't like that either, that's an option. Becca's got all the tips today. I'm trying to give you guys some good ones. I love silver dollar eucalyptus. And the fake stuff, this stuff looks real. It does. It I just pretty. wish it smelled real. Does it smell good? No, I mean, it just smells like paper. Like plants. <laughs> what? But eucalyptus normally smells good. No, that's what I meant. Oh, Does yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, good? it smells so good. Really? Yeah. Okay, so this is a wired eucalyptus. I'm going to go ahead and take my wire cutters. Um, cut that. And I'll cut this one, too. I had a lot of eucalyptus at my wedding and never once thought to sniff it. You had real eucalyptus and you didn't smell it? I didn't sniff it. No. Wow. I had no idea that it even smelled like anything. Um. So what I'm going to do on this is go ahead and kind of form it to the shape of this frame so that when I put the glue down, I don't have to try to manipulate it after it's glued down. Um, so that one is good. We have our little Lynn Lily hot glue gun that I love, rave about. Um, just put, put a good amount on there so that it sticks really good. Don't skimp on the glue on this project. Oh, Becca, they say that all the uh, the mini Easy Press is sold out like everywhere. <gasps> it's because everybody got a maker for Christmas and they want all the fun gadgets. It's Not a maker. Cool. I keep calling it a maker. A cricket. Cricket. Need to be more know. inclusive there. That little, that little Easy Press is just so cute. And it's... Especially for people who don't have a ton of room for all their craft and mm -hmm. stuff. That's a, it's a good, it's a good option. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> How are you? Eucalyptus essential oil on it with hidden cotton balls. That's a really good idea, Tammy. That way you get your smell and then maybe I could actually smell it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I'll go ahead um, and kind of just bend it to the shape of the frame. Oh, I lost a piece. I'll go back and add that later. So on this one, I want to hide this stem just so that it looks like one continuous piece. Um, and you can do that by just inserting it uh, kind of further down that way. And Becca, we have a great question. What is that great Joel question? Joel says, with all the hot glue guns available, which would you recommend? Do you prefer corded or uncorded? What about sizes? I prefer this Lynn Lily. You guys, when we got it, I was like, no way. It can't be that good. It's just a hot glue gun. Um, 
but I love, it's corded and non, like it's cordless and corded, and I'll show you how we do that in just a second. Um, but I like it because it has a small, the head of it or the nozzle or wherever the glue comes out is smaller. So I feel like you can be more precise with the placement of the glue. Um, I also love it because it's, it's good and warm, but it doesn't like, it doesn't burn you. My sister has this honker of a glue gun and we were doing a craft over Christmas and I put my hand on the glue or my thumb on the glue right after to kind of rub it off and oh my yeah. gosh. I mean, there's many ones. There's regular size ones. There's hot temp or hot temp, high temp, low temp, corded, uncorded. This one is good. And also guys, what I didn't know, and I actually told one of you guys that you couldn't do this and I was wrong. You can jerk this guy out and pull that little cord out and make it corded if you wanted to. Yeah, I need to so show you that. He can be corded or uncorded, which is great. I just wish he took, I, I keep calling it he, it's hysterical. I wish that it <laughs> took, it's a boy. I wish that it took regular size glue sticks, but I do Why love do you the wish precision. that, Rachel? Because I, I go through them so often. Okay, I'm yeah, I, I would say that's true. Often. Yeah. But I love the precision tip on this thing. It, it does a really good job. I really, really like this little Lynn Lily hot glue gun. Yeah, I've done a lot of like felt flower type stuff here recently where I have to do a lot of small gluing, like gluing on small parts. And it was really nice. Okay, so what Rachel was talking about, you can see that the um, cord is in the base. You can take the cord out of the base and put it right into uh, the gun. It's like so, the best of both worlds, just depending on what you're seriously, doing. Seriously, and it's so cute. It's pretty darn cute. I didn't think I would like a, a mini glue gun, but I really do. Mm, I do too. Okay, I think that is finished. So obviously you could add more up here if you wanted to. In fact, I probably, let me add it while I'm here. It looks a little bare up there, doesn't it, Rachel? Maybe just a hair, but that's just okay. Especially bare. if you run out of eucalyptus, you know, there's not a whole lot you could do, but that's okay. So this would be a really cute spring um, wreath too because of how light the wood is. Um, you could add flowers instead of eucalyptus around there. Um, do a fun spring saying, saying, sorry, my accent gets me. Hey, that's okay. I think I don't have one, but then I, I know that I do. People tell me I do all the time. <laughs> it's cute, Becca. Perfect. This is good. And guys, you know, this was with a font, which you guys know is only available for yearly members mm -hmm. for Makers and Learn. So if you guys want to be a yearly member, you want access to the fonts, which is a PSA. The fonts are my favorite thing about the membership, which is crazy, but it's true. I adore the fonts. Then you have to be a yearly member, guys. So make sure that you uh, grab that yearly membership while it's $40 off. Yeah, especially, like I said, if, if you're new, if you just got your Cricut, um, it's it's a great tool, guys. It really is. If you feel scared, don't feel that way. I say it over and over and over again. We do, for yearly members, actually for all members, I think, have the private Facebook page, um, and that's a great tool as well. So you get all of our knowledge and insight and ideas, and then you get all of our members' knowledge and insight and ideas. And that, honestly, is just as useful um, in my opinion, as, as us, we were looking over the holidays at some of the stuff that you guys have put together. Um, you guys are so creative, like seriously creative. There was this tumbler, um, that was a Harry Potter themed tumbler and it blew me away. You guys are amazing. Um, but yeah, get that membership, take advantage of the $40 off. Um, and let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the camera back to you, Miss Ben. Okay, perfect. But yeah, let us know if you have questions. You guys have been asking great questions. And also, I haven't addressed it uh, verbally, but I have Miss uh, Sarah Morrison. I have answered you twice about how to clean your awesome Cricut mats. We have a great video teaching you exactly how to do so. And it's a great one. And guys, do not clean your Cricut mats without watching, watching that video, because let me just tell you, there are wrong ways to do it. So Yeah, and I didn't know that you could clean them for a while. I was just getting yeah. new ones. Well, like, here's what the a thing. waste. Cricket as a company does not promote they, that they for don't promote, obvious reasons. Yeah. Yeah, they want you to keep buying mats because mm -hmm. it's you know, you keep spending money. But really you can get a lot more life out of those mats if you take the time to clean them. I'd say you could get several more weeks out of your mats, you know, and not have to buy them so often so that's that's a great little tip guys but how do you access the membership fonts on the design space Sarah wants to know mm. um, so once you have installed it onto your computer actually do you want to go back over to design space and I can show her well for some reason it won't pop up when okay. you download a font 
I don't know why. Something about <laughs> something about our software. It just won't let you guys see it, but it's really easy. You you access them on Sorry. Makers Gonna Learn. No, that's fine. Becca <laughs> tries, guys. Becca tries. You access them on Makers Gonna Learn. You can shop through them, browse through mm -hmm. them, and then you just download them on your computer. And it, like it's super super easy. Once you do that, you just go in Design Space and you start crafting with it. They are on the. Um, System font, that's the only thing I want right. to tell you about that. You can select system instead of all, and so those specifically would yeah. pull up. It just and makes I, your search easier, I, I think. I will say a pointer, and it's so frustrating to me. Like, if I have Design Space open and I have my project open, and then I download a new font, and this is not just me, it's everybody. Yeah. Download a new font, and I want to use that in that project. You have to uh, refresh your page you before do. it will load yeah. in there. So make sure your project is saved. Great tip. Uh, yeah, if yeah. it's not saved and you refresh that page, then it's, you're going to lose all of um, your progress on that project. So save your project, refresh the page, and then you can go back up and access that font um, under system fonts. Yeah, but fonts are great. I love Fonts. fonts are my favorite thing to use for the membership and again they're only for those yearly members um, but fonts are great they're they're really easy to work with guys especially um, for newbies it's a great thing to just dive into mm -hmm. and we have several uh, awesome training videos on how to use them if you're a member we have a lot of beginner videos about that and if you're not a member and you just want to know we have a lot of great videos on the YouTube channel too yeah for, that. for yeah. sure um, Miss Janet we got the canvas at Michaels so uh, it was a pre-cut canvas that was 12 inches and we cut it in half um you can get it at hobby lobby i'm sure yeah I'm sure. probably on a bowl even if you wanted it bigger but you could use uh, you could use like a burlap ribbon um homespun even just like regular polyester from um from the materials department or whatever yeah. there's so many different mediums that you could use for that yeah what you'll see me becca and tanner doing is creating projects with things you know but feel free to take just the techniques you learn mm -hmm. from us Absolutely. and use all your your favorite things so if you don't like eucalyptus use your favorite flower use your if you want to use like she said denim or felt or whatever you want to use instead of the you know canvas do that if you want to paint your embroidery hoop paint it i mean oh, just, yeah that's a great idea yeah just use the skills that we're giving you guys to make this completely your own and even, do you guys, have you seen, it's kind of popular right now, the wire um, wreaths, the, I think gold is the more popular, but it's just a really thin wire, even thinner than this, um, wreath, and you can get those at Hobby Lobby and Walmart, and this would be really cute on that as well, it would be a little more... Um, fancy um actually i did that for my front porch too i've done all these projects <laughs> and i used ribbon with it but uh yeah you can just take the idea and run with it yeah. absolutely and becca can you tell miss janet one more time where you got the canvas from <laughs> it's from michael's yeah <laughs> we have answered you miss janet <laughs> she probably started typing before i said it <laughs> probably that's okay yeah. that's okay and miss always inspiring she says what can all what all can my square two cut and how thick can i go so if you are a member which you said that you are your yearly membership you know, congratulations. Yeah. For that. But in that awesome Cricut printable guide that Becca loves to talk about, we all love to talk about it, we show you guys blade charts to show you exactly what your blades can cut. So if you want to know about the fine point blade, yeah. the deep cut blade, you know, whatever blades that work with your machine, you can see all of those. We give you guys all those in there. And again, those are only for members. Every member does get that awesome printable mm -hmm. guide though. Yeah. Yeah. We, it's, it's amazing. Like this is just a list of everything that the rotary blade will cut. Yeah. And I had no idea. Yeah. So it, it just breaks down every single thing like that. Guys, this, if, if you are a member and haven't found this yet or looked at it or whatever, Go and do that right now. Um, it's amazing. It's under the dashboard on your membership. It is. Like yep. resources under the dashboard. Yeah, I think. it. Yeah. There you go. Woohoo. So yeah, yeah go find that for sure. Like, and yeah. there's other resources too, like um, using um, your, it's an iOS printable guide that we yeah. just put together. That's awesome um, too. That's, you can see all the PDFs for the fonts and the cut files if you wanted to see those in a, I guess a, a broader, uh, more organized fashion by mm -hmm. collection other than just searching through the categories or, you know, using the actual search feature on the site. That's a great thing too. And you don't have to print all these out like we did. You, you feel free to let them be electronic. You can use them. Yeah, it's a PDF, like so you can just leave it like on your computer yeah. or on your phone. I love to reference it on my phone personally. It's really easy to do that. I've saved it in the folders. Uh, or file section of my phone. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, if, if you're not a member and these all sound like amazing tools that you um, could benefit from, which you can, um, get that membership. 
with code best. $40 yep. off. 40 bucks off. It's a, it's going away. It's going bye-bye on Friday. I keep asking, so. when is this going away? When is this going away? We're yep. told it's Friday. That's what we're... Look, I Beck wouldn't risk like, it. Hey. I would not risk it, though. I would I mean, that's an amazing saving. Sometimes Tanner will give a sale. Sometimes he'll take it away. You never know with Tanner. Just <laughs> get it while it's hot, guys, and it's hot, you know? It is. <laughs> Did we have any other questions? I don't... I don't think so, Beck. I think everybody's happy, which is good. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for staying with us while we do this project. Um, I hope you guys got some valuable information from it. Um, I hope you had fun because I had a lot of fun. Thank you. You guys were amazing for my first official live. Um, and I can't wait to do it again with you guys. We'll see you guys next time.